Greetings this Monday morning, July 25th. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. Delighted to pray with you for a devotional time of prayer today. So we begin. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints of light. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. And come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He has made himself, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our scripture this morning continues with the gospel, uh, or begins the gospel of Mark. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James and the son of Zebedee and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Anybody who's been in discernment knows that things aren't always that simple. <laughs> they very seldom, um, when you listen to people's stories of their vocation or, or stories of their discernment of, you know, choosing a particular uh, way of life, whether that be ordination or whether it be... Uh, a new ministry or even a job. Um, there's a lot more that goes into that dialogue. Um, we hear this very simple that Jesus asked them to come and they went. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Um, for some of us, we may feel if it we're only that simple. Um, oftentimes it's, it's days and weeks of, of contemplation of, uh, doubts uh, of going back and forth of making lists of you know pros and cons of weighing the decision um, a life-changing event uh, <clears throat> you want to be ready and you want to have all all the things clear um, but ultimately um, it does kind of come down to god's call and our response um, how god might be inviting us um, in our own life sometimes it is it becomes crystal clear after a while um, where we know we are being called and there's no doubt about it um, the circumstances in our lives are or um, sometimes it's a feeling deep in our soul um, that we we know becomes over time becomes clearer and clearer about our decisions so we know that um, it makes us think about those times and discernment in our own lives, but also of um, those who may be in them presently. Uh, we think of those who are um, preparing for uh, ordination or preparing for a, a new particular job or career. Uh, the students in college, you know, preparing for graduation and entering into the world. Um, 
all the different levels of education that, again, help to form and to fashion um, one's discernment. So we pray for all of those folks. <clears throat> we pray for uh, one another, the gifts of this day, all the ways in which we are called to be open to God's presence and love. As we pray together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth and as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> We pray for uh, for peace uh, today, especially in the wake of the recent violence here, at least in this area in Rochester. O oh God, the author of peace and love, of concord, to know you in eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear for the power of our adverse adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We pray today for all sorts and conditions. O God, the creator and preserver of all, we humbly beseech you for all sorts of conditions of people that you would be pleased to make your ways known unto them, your saving health among all nations. More especially, we pray for your church, universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christian may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit and the bond of peace and the righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any way affected or distressed in mind, body, or spirit, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to the several necessities, giving them with patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all of their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always your glory and the welfare of people through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. May God's blessing and, and joy fill your hearts this day encouraging you, strengthening you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.